Let's get it, Suzukan. All right, Suzuka, not one of my stronger tracks, but uh, pretty happy with the time I was able to get here. Still fighting the cold. Um, I would like to think that I would have done better had I not been, but I'm not so sure that's true. I was able to get us a 203.575. I think the fixed races uh, this week are going to be in the dry. The open ones are going to be in the wet. Um, uh, at least that's the way the PDF makes it look. I'm not sure. We'll see when we get there. Um, I think the fast guys um, in the dry are going to be doing like 201s probably. Uh, just looking at the garage 61 times um that's what it seems to be um like i said pretty happy with it still fighting the cold uh let's go through the the fast lap and uh then we'll, we'll we'll show you that and then we'll talk through what we were thinking going on in our heads uh as we did it Sector one time's okay. That was a 203.58. Sector 3 times quick. Alright, Suzuka, Porsche Cup fixed. Um, we've got a 203.575. Haven't touched the brake blast or anything like that. We're going to go through how we did it. Um, just coming out of the final corner here. We'll go through that when we come back around. First braking spot is going to be kind of in between there's this um brown patch right here and this hundred marker it's kind of in between those two the hundred marker is the same as this white line on the ground so you don't have to look all the way over here you can just kind of in this area it's kind of where i'm looking and so yeah we kind of maybe got on a little early or even but that's kind of where we're starting to think about it and then here's where we kind of commit to the braking and it's not a super heavy braking zone just uh um light it's a long braking zone is the thing so we're turning in hold that brake pressure we're gonna we're gonna there's two turns here and we're gonna hold the brakes for both of them so we're just easing off the brake pressure as we're coming around let's keep the car turning in we got a little bit of banking to help us and we got that uh brake pressure helping get the tires on the front gripped up we're putting that pressure down in the front shifting the balance of the car while we're braking keep on holding that brake pressure as we're coming through then as we start to come around i got a little a little excited and hit the gas a little early there but uh, we're still holding that brake pressure and there we go we're coming around we've got the car rotated how we want and we can start putting the, the power down we're we've got a lot of wheel turned in and we got a lot of rotational force in the cars we can't slam it all the way down we gotta wait until we straighten out the wheel 
come out. There we go. Get the rest of the power down as we hit the exit there. And we need to get the car back over to the right hand side. We've hit fourth at this point, or we're hit a second or two here. There we go. So now we want to get the car turning left again. And we're going to ease up because we need to slow down for this corner here. Just tap on the brake ever so slightly. Get back down to third. And we're going to get back on the throttle. This whole S section is kind of weird. And I think there's multiple ways to attack it. We're just going through how we did it on the fastest lap I was able to get here. I think I was able to do the section quicker on some other times, but it's tough. So yeah, we've 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 accelerated a little bit. We're now we're coming up to this curve and we're gonna we're gonna just again just put a little bit of brake pressure on and keep the car over on the right hand side because we've got another left hander coming up after we get through here. And we're gonna start putting the throttle back down. Car wheels straightened out. And we can put the throttle back in after we get the car straightened and then we're gonna turn back towards the left. Ease up a little bit. Turn the car, a little bit of brakes to keep to get the car turned a bit more. And then we're back on the throttle. And then we'll go full throttle here. Just have to wait until we can't put the full throttle down. Um, we'd either plow or spin the car worse. Um, then we're just gonna lift and put a little bit of brake pressure on, keep the car turning right through this little section here. Just a little, just a little bit of brake pressure. Oh, wrong button. There we go. And as we come around, we'll put the throttle in. We have to wait until we unwind the car, finish rotating. Now we can straighten out, and put the rest of the throttle in. Now we're gonna have to lift for this next corner coming up here. So we're turning, we're turning, we're turning, and we're starting to lift. If we if we kept the throttle in, we're not going to have enough uh, uh, grip to to. We'll, we just plow off over here. So we're just going to put a little bit of throttle in, wait, and then we can put the rest of the. No, no, no. <laughs> that was a little little premature there. There we go. Now we can put the rest of the throttle in. And this is pretty much full throttle from here until there's the 100 marker um, that we are going to break a little bit after the 100 marker here. We got a couple uh, right handers coming up. Just a little bit, like halfway in between the, I mean, we, we're, we're thinking we're thinking about breaking when we get to the 100 marker, but we're we're going to like apply the majority of our braking force once we get kind of like halfway in between here. So there we go. We're peaking our brakes and now we're going to slowly let off of them while we turn in here this is a really fast uh, corner bump we're already putting a little bit of throttle in as we do that and we're just going to get the car to settle down and put the rest of the throttle in now this is a this is a one i was horribly inconsistent on this corner here you can see the the rubbered in area where it's darker starts right about here it's kind of where I'm thinking on my braking, um, where I want to be doing that. Again, I'm not super consistent on this one. If you find a better brake marker, go for it. Um, but we're pretty pretty decent on the brakes here, and it's just a, a quick stab, and then we're gonna um, come off pretty pretty quick. This has got a lot of banking in it. Turn in a lot of wheel, and then as we as we get past. Uh, the corner here we're gonna start putting the throttle back in pretty quick on it because we've got all that banking to help us turn we do want to make sure we don't go off too far on this side here otherwise we get an off track but uh, we're good here and then we're full throttle through here and then the hairpin's a little tricky too um, I'm kind of lifting where this starts and then starting to break like right before the end of the curve in there. So we're lifting. Now we're gonna get on the brakes. 
pretty heavy. We want to break in a straight line. So we're pointing the car this way. We're getting heavy on the brakes and we're going to downshift to first. I've had people in the past tell me they like maybe I take it in second or short shift to second. I, I can't make that work. Um, it might be quicker, but I just I can't do it. So we're pretty heavy on the brakes. We're downshifting into second, into first. We'll ease, start easing off the brake pressure as we're turning in. A lot of wheel, a lot of wheel. And we get on the throttle as we're coming out. We have to wait until we get the car rotated how we want. And now we can put the rest of the throttle down. We're a lot less wheel when we, when we finish doing that. Then we're full throttle through here. And until we come up, there's an access road over here and I'm braking a bit before it. Um, in some of the faster cars you brake at it, but excuse me, I had a cough there. Um, we're braking a bit before it here. We've already started applying our brakes. That's kind of me thinking, all right, we need to start thinking about slowing down. And now we're pretty heavy on the brakes just before that there. And we're just gonna ease up off the brakes we come around this corner here. Spoon is this is this is spoon. This is one of the harder corners, in my opinion. Um, we're just gonna hold that little bit of braking pressure. Now we can start putting the throttle back in. It's gonna be not gonna be a huge amount of time on the throttle here. I don't even remember if we get up to full throttle. We're just turning the car in. Now we're gonna start braking a little bit as we get to the outside there. Just hold that bit of brake pressure. I can't remember. A lot of times I get on the throttle too early coming out of this one. I can't remember if this was one of those times. We're just holding that little bit of brake pressure as we come around. It's longer than you think. And we're going to start putting the throttle down. Yeah. As we cross that point of uh, maximum rotation, we're just full throttle. From here, all the way to the 100 marker. At the end of the straight, we got the 200, 100s up here. That's where we're going to break. And it's just a little quick stab on the brakes. So here we come and break. I guess I just a quick stab, downshift the gear, and ease up off of them. And we're back on the throttle already. And we just slowly ramp up to full throttle. It's not a slam on the gas kind of thing. We don't, we don't want to push out. I did it a bunch of times where I tried to brake a little bit less and get on the throttle sooner. And we're just like, we kept on, but we're like all the way over here. Like still, tr I was wrestling with control of the car. It, I want to get, I personally kind of want to get over here um, sooner. I'm not quite as quick, but uh, I can be a little bit more consistent that way. And we're going to break um, kind of in between the 150 and the 100. The 100 is pretty late. Like, I think you can do it sometimes, but it's you're going to lock up and not be able to turn in um, more often than not. I am, anyway. Um, so we're hitting the brakes around the 100 um, peak, about halfway in between. And we're going to ease off, off the brakes. Just get the car slowed down. So it was a pretty heavy hit. And then we're holding it um, maybe 35, 40% for, for quite a while to get the car slowed down. And then we're easing up even a little bit more. We've got to be careful we don't cut this corner here. If we go over too far, it's like a one second slowdown or something like that. We don't want that. So we're just holding a little bit of brake pressure there. Hit the bump with a little bit of throttle in. That can really that really unsettles the car, so you got to be careful um, with and stick the landing. I guess I don't know. Um, a little bit of pressure or a little bit of throttle. Then we switch back, put a little bit of brake pressure on, so we can get the car gripped up, so we can turn there. And then we put a little bit more uh, throttle in as we've got so much wheel. We wait and we straighten out the wheel, and then we get full throttle. And we can pretty much take full throttle the rest of the way here. I keep tight here. I think it's um, 
I don't know if, I wanted like to stay close just to try and get the uh, extra however much of a second that is uh, on the lap time, but uh, you can open up wider because you have to go over this way anyway. Last stop, it's a good idea, keep it tight. Anyhow, cross to the start finish. Here we go, 203, 575. So yeah, um, pretty happy with how we did. Um, not one of my stronger tracks, bullet points. Uh, hopefully we do well on the races. I don't think I'm gonna try wet ones, maybe, I don't know. Um, we'll see how it goes, but that's just, I, I, the amount of practice I have time to put in, I just, it, it wet's really hard for me in this car. I, I don't do well. But, well, I guess we'll see. If you want to watch along live when we try that, uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash man. Thumbs up if you uh, liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. If you think I earned it, hit the um, subscribe button. That's what it's called. We'll see you next time. Bye.